pleasure to be with you guys today to do this very exciting reading about Valentine's Day. Yes, it is a Valentine's Day reading. It is about love. So I'm sure a lot of you know that Valentine's Day is not just about romantic love. It's about celebrating love in all of its forms, not just romantic love. But for this particular reading, we are focusing on romantic love for Valentine's Day. And I'm very excited because I'm doing this reading in a way that I've actually never done it before. I have three different piles of uh, uh, cards here. These are all tarot cards. They're from different tarot decks. They are all the lover's card. So I'm going to let you guys choose which lover's card is speaking to you. And I'm also using that deck in the actual reading, which most of you know, if you're, if you're a subscriber here, you know I use the universal weight quite a bit. But I am giving that a rest today. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do use these particular tarot cards. I will get clarifiers through the universal weight if I need to, but I don't think I'm gonna need to. We'll just see how it plays out. I'm also pulling the cards as we go through the reading this time, which I haven't been doing lately. I've been pulling the cards ahead of time. But, um, you know, it's always good to change things up every once in a while, right? So, on pile one, and this is a new uh, tarot deck to me. This is the Book of Shadows tarot. And it is the So, be so Below, the second one. So, this, it is tarot-based. I guess the As Above is the first Book of Shadows cards. My daughter has those. Those speak to her. Those are the ones that she uses. I haven't looked at them, but they're not tarot based. I think they're more oracle based. I'm not real sure about that. Um, I think the Book of Shadows kind of is a Wicca or, or pagan tradition, which I'm neither. I mean, I do classify as pagan a little bit. My people were pagan, like back in, in England back in the day, that's where my family is from. So we were probably pagans at one time before the Christians came into that part of Europe and spread Christianity. So I do like both, what I like about both of those things is they do follow the natural order of the earth. And that's kind of, they're very, uh, it's a, both of those traditions are very naturalist, earth-based, uh, going with the flow of the environment and the earth and the seasons and the stars and all that stuff. So I do like that about it. But that was a lot to say, wasn't it? Okay, so this is the lover's card for, for the Book of Shadows Tarot. And on pile one, I do have a rose quartz. The Light Seer's Tarot. This is the lover's card for the Light Seer's Tarot. And on pile two, we have a Amazonite. And then on pile three is the herbal tarot. That's the lover's card for the herbal tarot. And we have a, this is a crystal clear amethyst actually. It's very pretty. So go ahead and make your decision about which one of these uh, readings you wanna hear. Click on the timestamp in the description box below and that will take you directly to that part in the reading. And as I said, I'll be pulling the cards as we go along. I'll take any messages that, that come through. I'm not putting too many um, restrictions, rules, regulations on spirit tonight. When, when it comes to these love readings, I'm just going to take whatever comes. So again, pile one, pile two, pile three, make your decision. Click on that timestamp. <laughs> in the description box below and that will take you directly to that part in the reading and let's just go ahead and get into this and see what we see what we see welcome back my friends if you chose pile one these are going to be your valentine's day messages so this is the lover's card you chose the lover's card for the book of shadows tarot and the rose quartz I am actually putting that lover's card back in there because this is a love reading. 
it will come out if it wants to for sure and I'm just gonna pull a few tarot first and then I have several oracle cards here and I'm gonna pull oracle oracle cards as well I think I'm gonna do it all at the same time so I will put a second time stamp in the description box uh, so that you will know when the shuffling is over and when the draw on the cards is over. Now, I may say some stuff while I'm pulling cards, but I will begin the reading once I have all of the cards out. So you can do either. You can look at the, at the shuffling part or you can just go directly to the reading part. That is your choice. Uh, but like I said, you might miss a few things, but I won't officially start the reading until all the cards are out. All right, so let's see. Valentine's Day reading for pile one. You got the King of Wands. <clears throat> the Death card. The Pinnacles. I'm sorry, the Ten of Pentacles. <coughs> and the Knave of Pentacle, Pentacles, which would be Knights, the Knight of Pentacles in this particular deck. Just for further clarifiers, not clarifiers, but further tarot, I'm going to put Kristen Gregory Scott this week. Just further tarot messages for Pile One. You got for pile one. The chariot card. Anything else for pile one? Queen of Swords. Is that it? So. <coughs> so the first thing I'm kind of drawn to is this death card and these uh, in this particular rendition of the Queen of Swords. It's like she is very focused on what she's doing and then she's not even noticing the uh, people that are actually hanging here. <laughs> They're actually, they have been hung and she's got her, she's turned her back on it. So we'll see why that's significant here in a bit. Okay, I pulled some Sedona Oracle this time. Haven't pulled these out in a long time. That just makes me think that these cards are connected in some way. That's the thing about uh, tarot when you, you know, the universal weight has very universal, very traditional meanings to it. And when you start um, getting other tarot, which I enjoy doing, it's fun. You do get, you do pick up different messages in addition to like the traditional message for the card. Prickly pear, diversity. Whispers of Love Oracle here. Just for those of you who are not familiar with tarot, the death card very rarely, very rarely means an actual death. It's usually about some part of your life that's ending and some new part that is beginning in a very positive way. 
people kind of focus on the um, death part of it, the part that's ending too much, I think, and don't focus enough on the transformation part, which is really what the card's about. It's a new, it's a brand new transformation. Rising out of the ashes to a brand new life. Okay, honesty is essential. Speak with love and truth. We'll get a spirit animal card for pile one. Ooh, beautiful. Dragonfly, magic. I embrace my transformation. What did I say? It's about the transformation here, you guys. I courageously let go of the past. The magic of nature is in me. I am brilliant and I am blessed. I love that. A self-love oracle. Self-care oracle is what it's called, actually, not self-love, self-care. So um, for those of you that are new to my channel, before I begin, I ask my spirit guides what cards to use. Sometimes I'm very surprised what cards uh, spirit wants me to use in a particular reading. So when I saw the, that spirit wanted me to use these self-care cards, I thought, well, that seems a little weird for a love reading, but maybe not. We'll see. So with the self-care, you got care day. And the last oracle I'm going to pull is a sacred traveler. And then we'll start talking about this reading and what's going on here. Answering the call, the time is now. Okay. So the love message that you have for this Valentine's Day is really about uh, your whole family here. I do feel like that you are living with family it's mom and dad and kids or you're living with extended family but wherever you're living is getting ready to change that's a for sale sign there these guys are moving um so interestingly enough this is the death card right in the book of shadows this woman is standing next to the real estate agent and they're putting up the for sale sign the kids are in the background and then dad is packing up the boxes so this it really is talking to me about an actual move that's taking place in your life that I think could take you closer to extended family. Now there's something about this move that you don't particularly care for because you do see the wisteria here. That, that indicates that this house you felt like was idyllic, that this was the perfect place for you to raise your uh, family. And now it has become very apparent that it is not the perfect place for you to raise your family. You need the extended family. You need the grandparents to help you. And it may not be grandparents. It may be aunts, uncles. It could even be people, family that you have adopted. But, you know, more and more these days, grandparents are moving closer to their uh, grown children with children to help them take care of them 
not only because it's hard to find good child care, it's also expensive to find good child child care. It's kind of like we're coming a little more full circle with back in the day, generations of family lived together. They took care of each other, de birth to death. Um, and we've, in this culture, particularly, we have kind of gotten away from that. And it uh, got, you know, more independent as, as small families, you know, nuclear family, mom, dad, kids have gotten more independent and moved away from the grandparents. We're going back. So I feel like that's what's happening for some of you. And, and if I, 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 the Queen of Swords is Virgo energy. It's also a woman who is very logical in their decision making. This is someone who has thought this through and has made this decision. And I think you're trying to focus on the good parts of it and not worry about the parts of it that you feel like that you are losing. And you do feel like you're losing some things in this move. But let's talk about what's happening over here because this thing, actually this transformation that's happening for you that takes you out in a new direction, in a new location, maybe in, even in an, a new part of the country or maybe in another country, but it takes you out of the comfort zone for sure out there in the vast, beautiful world. And it's not only, although you're doing it for your family and for the help that you're gonna get raising your kids, it's also going to open more doors for you, more opportunities for you in, in personal growth, but also in business. See that? that page of Pentacles or Knave of Pentacles. So that would be like a Knight of Pentacles. That means that this move, that with this King of Wands, which is entrepreneurial energy or bossing up energy, this move brings new opportunities for you in business. Now the Knight of Pentacles is slow moving energy. So that means you're not doing this overnight but this opens the doors for the new opportunities to come into you, for you to do something that you love. It requires hard work. They're gathering nuts here. It's like I said, it's not gonna happen overnight, but the realm of possibilities are widening, widening for you with this move. This chariot card just talks about the determination that you have decided that this is what you need to do. You need to stay the course and you need to go in that direction. It is absolutely what is best for your family. It, um, I want to say this Wisteria Lane thing has kind of maybe stifled your own personal growth and maybe the growth of your family in that it has become kind of insulated or insular because we got this prickly, prickly pear here that's saying, hey, you know, there's so many other ways of being out there in the world. There are so many other cultures out there to explore. This is like an opening up for you and for your family to new ways of thinking, new ways of being, huge opportunities to bring transformation and magic into your life. Beautiful, beautiful stuff coming in. If you just have the courage to let go of the past and focus on, on, your, on your future, on the transformation part of it. That's not to say that you need to deny those parts that you feel like you're losing. That's not to say that you don't need to talk it through with those that you love. Honesty is going to be very important to you. Speak the, speak your truth. 
but stay open. Stay open to the doors that are opening up for you. And this is like the good bit of advice that Spirit is bringing to you right now. This care day, um, wow, it looks, it's, it looks so wild and free. It almost has an element of Uh, getting together with the girlfriends and dancing out in, with, you know, with your bare feet. Um, it's very, it's like that free dance stuff that people do. This is what this is talking about. It's a really letting go and getting in touch with your inner child, with your inner spirit with that wild she-wolf within you and just taking care of yourself. So don't focus completely on the family. Yes, this is about family. Yes, it opens doors up to you for work, but also have fun with your friends. Don't forget about your friends. Enjoy times together, happy times, celebrations, spa days, those kinds of things. All right. I think that is, is your message for Valentine's Day for those of you that are watching. If that did not resonate with you, go ahead and pick another pile. Um, it's, these are general readings. They're not meant for everybody. So take what resonates with you and leave the rest of it. All right. Until next time, I'm sending you lots of light and love. Happy Valentine's Day. Welcome back, my friends. If you chose pile two, these are going to be your Valentine's Day love messages. So pile two did have the Light Series Tarot Lovers card on it. I'm going to put those that back in the deck because I want to have access to all of the cards here. Uh, pile two also did have the Amazonite stone. So I am pulling a bunch of cards today. I will probably put two timestamps in the description box, um, a timestamp for the shuffling and the pulling of the cards, and then one for when everything is done and the reading starts. I might say some things as I'm pulling the cards. So if you want to be sure that you don't miss anything, you can stay for the shuffling. If you're not interested in that, uh, or you don't have time, you can just go ahead and skip to the second timestamp and get the message. So I'm just going to pull a few Light Seer's Tarot first. See what messages Spirit has for Pile 2, what Valentine's Day messages. You've got Queen of Swords. What messages for Pile 2? That's a lot of cards. I'm going to go ahead and take them. It is a lot. But we'll see what it says. Got the Seven of Wands, the Five of Pentacles, the Eight of Pentacles, the Lover's Card, yay! <laughs> the High Priestess, beautiful High Priestess, and the Devil. It's kind of an interesting looking Devil card here. Devil, the Lovers, and the High Priestess. That is super interesting, y'all. Oh, wait a minute. This fell out, too. The Four of Wands. Like I said, I'm taking them, but I don't want to take them that way. That's kind of too much. Let's do this. All right. So, Gregory Scott Tarot. We'll pull some of those. Just for additional tarot messages. Not that we need them. We got plenty, right? Additional tarot messages. For pile two.
Knight of Cups. The High Priestess again. The Seven of Swords. The King of Wands. The Four of Wands twice. The Ten of Wands. Hmm. This is very interesting. We got some interesting cards here, pile two. I'm always excited when a message comes out twice with two different uh, piles. So that's just spirit saying, hey, pay attention to this right here. Pay attention to this. I'm actually gonna put those together. All right, with the self-care oracle, you got water. We know what that's about. Feelings, getting in the water, purification, going swimming in the ocean, taking a bath. Water is very, very cleansing. Also, it's very uh, about emotions. And, it, and when, you know, you do those things, like the cleansing things and the bath and the swimming in the ocean, that helps you get in touch with your emotions. Receive with love and appreciation. Gracious acceptam acceptance is a way to show love. spirit animal here. Frog, prosperity, let go of the past and embrace change. Opportunities are close at hand. Hop into this new, new day with joy. Abundance and good fortune await you. Wow. Sacred Traveler, oh, okay, staying focused, hold the course. And just one more Oracle I wanna get here. The um, uh, Sedona Oracle, I haven't pulled these out in a long time, but I'm, I was just filling them with this reading. So I do wanna see what's going on with this. Creek, feminine energy and intuition. That goes right here. My friends, that is right connected with this. 
these two fours in this. This is like the center of your reading right here. Okay, so let's talk about this. So like I said, you got the four of wands, which is about celebrations around the home. Can sometimes talk about marriages um, uh, around the home, happiness around the home. Uh, so definitely something to celebrate here. You've got the high priestess twice, which is about feminine spirituality and intuition. And you got this card, Oak Creek, feminine energy and intuition. Okay. You are, um, the, this is a very, this is very happy. This is something to celebrate here. It definitely looks like a wedding to celebrate. There is a spiritual element to this. Your intuition is telling you that uh, uh, you are getting married, that it is time for you to get married or the person that you're going to be married to um, is well on his way to you. And I say well on his way to you because he, he or she is not here yet. You're manifesting this person. This is about staying focused on that which you desire in a relationship. Now, this is just your love message from the universe. I'm gonna kind of put this to, to the side because this is what is happening. You have manifested this, it is on its way. It's not here just yet. So what else is going on here? The lover's card does not always indicate a choice between two people. Now the lover's card is about a choice, but it can be about a choice between two things that you love or between someone you love and something else. There is an element of genuine affection and love associated with this decision that needs to be made. But sometimes it is read as you have a choice here between lovers and you're going to have to make a decision. And in this particular reading, that is what the lover's card is saying. You have choices. And let's just look here real quick. I think that, okay, <laughs> there are several people on the table here. And for some of you, I do feel like it's like a choice between two people. But for some of you, I feel like that choice is broader than that. I think that you're, maybe you've manifested this, you've been visualizing it, and that's part of your spiritual practice every day that you visualize this. And that's why this is so imminent in your reading you know this is happening you you know beyond a doubt that you are getting married you are finding your mate and you're getting married because that is exactly what you want and and absolutely that is exactly what you have manifested now we just need to find the person that's what this is saying so what do you have on the table you have Knight of Cups energy. Cups are associated with the water signs, which would be Pisces, Scorpio, or Cancer. You have the King of Wands, which is, for me, it's an Aries card or fire sign energy. You have the Devil card, which is Capricorn energy. And you have the Queen of Swords, which is, for me, Virgo, um, Mm, you could probably broaden that out to the other air signs. So Gemini, because you got Gemini in the lover's card too. So it could be Gemini, Aquarius, or uh, Libra. So I just say those signs in case the, uh, you are one of those, or you're dealing with one of those, or you know who these people are. For for all of you though, I think there's some variation in the types of people that you're choosing between. For one thing, 
we have all suits represented here on the table. Pentacles are the earth signs. Uh, like I said, wands are the fire signs. Cups are the water signs. Swords are the air signs. So all of the suits are represented here. But there's also variation in age. Uh, like I feel like some of you, you're, there's, you have a choice between two people. One's younger, one's older. There are variations in sex. For some of you, I think that you're making, trying to make a decision between uh, uh, marriage. Okay, now we're talking about marriage. That, that's just if if you have no interest in marriage, this is not your reading. So we're talking about, and we don't. It doesn't have to be a traditional piece of paper marriage, but it is living together with one person in a very traditional relationship. So I do feel like for some of you, it's actually a choice between a male and a female. And I, for some of you, I think it's a choice between there's actually races, there, there's uh, ethnicity and race indicated here too. Like this person is my race, this person is of another race. So what? <laughs> there's, bit, there's huge dichotomy in your choices. So that's what makes this particular decision for you guys that's why you're getting the feels. That's why you're getting this water with the self-care. And this really does talk about using water to heal yourself and to, to help deal with whatever it is that you're dealing with at this particular time. It really does talk about uh, taking a nice hot shower or soaking in a bathtub or going swimming. Water is very purifying, as I said. So this is like a clue as to what's going to help you make this decision. So let's talk about these everyday cards here. The numbered cards are everyday cards. You got the Ten of Wands, the Seven of Swords, the Five of Pentacles, the Seven of Wands, and the Eight of Pentacles. This is just basically outlining the process of this thing that you're going through here with all the choices that you have um, or with the choices that you have of the people who are in uh, the running, I guess you would say, to be your mate. I don't think this decision is going to be easy. I do feel like at some points it's going to feel like you're, t you're carrying the weight of the world on your shoulders with this because I think that you genuinely like both of these people. In some cases, all of these people, however many it is that you are dating, you will have many nights that you are up, sleepless, agonizing over this decision. Like if I let this person go, it will be it will be heartbreaking to me. But if I let this other person go, that's going to be heartbreaking too. But there are some clues in here for you because nobody. It really is when you get the lovers. <laughs> card. It really is your choice. You have free will. You get to decide which path you take here. You get to decide which wedding looks right for you with which person, right? So the clues are, first of all, go with the one that in your heart you feel is the best choice for you. And that's why it's so important to get in touch with your motion, emotions through the water aspect that we talked about earlier. The one that you work well with and also the one that you have fun with. And there's actually a message here of watch out for the one that is not always truthful. So this is really a vetting process here that is going on for you. I'm going to say within the next six months, I'm feeling the next six months. There, it's not going to be particularly easy. It could be fun at times, uh, but it's really going to be a serious dilemma for you, which one that you choose. I am absolutely confident 
that you will make the right decision for you in the end. And it always comes back to this when you get the high priestess and when you get this card about feminine energy and intuition. High priestess is all about intuition. So the, these are some clues about which one to choose. But basically, you just follow your, your intuition. That's what spirit is telling you. You will know which one is the right one for you. You will know. And this is how I know it's going to end up well for you. You got this prosperity card. It says, hop into this new day with joy, abundance, and good fortune await you. You. This is a very good this is a good luck omen here, and it tells me that you are definitely making the right decision, and you are on your path to finding the person of your dreams. And I'm going to say it's within the next six months. You, you probably are already dating these people. If you're not already dating them, them now, you will be very, very shortly. Uh, maybe you're out going out on a dating site or something, and that's why you have all of these options. And that's why it can be, get kind of confusing, too. If you're out on the dating sites, things get a little confusing sometimes. But I have all the faith in the world. You guys are going to, you guys are going to figure this out, and it's going to be wonderful. Please come back. And put a comment in the in the description box below whenever this shakes out and you figure out which one is the right one for you. But congratulations on the on the wedding thing, right? All right, until next time, I'm sending you lots of light and love. Take care. Welcome back, my friends. If you chose pile three, these are gonna be your messages. Pile three had the is from the herbal tarot. I'm putting the lover's card back in there because I want to have access to all of the cards as I'm doing this. Pile three did have a beautiful amethyst, very shiny crystal-like amethyst. It's really pretty. Okay, so I am going to put two timestamps on this reading, on all the readings today because I'm shuffling and I'm pulling out all the cards. First, and then I will start the actual reading part of it. Um, I might say stuff during the shuffling process. I'm sure I will, in fact. So if you don't want to miss anything, you can you can be here for the shuffling. You don't have to, though, if you want to skip. If you don't have time and want to just skip directly to the reading, you can do that as well. Okay, so... This is a Valentine's Day reading. It is all about love. I'm taking the message as exactly as they come. I have no parameters on the messages. Whatever wants to come out is gonna come out. So with the herbal tarot for pile three, tell us what messages you have for pile three. <laughs> awesome, that's the lover's card. All right, pile three, what messages? Messages for pile three. I haven't used these cards in a long time, actually. I don't know why. I just gave them a little bit of a break. Now it's time to use them again. That is too many. Okay. Is that it for the herbal tarot for pile three? Is that it? I think that's it one more one more flew out okay so you got the eight of pentacles the three of swords the magician card this one came out first first actually and the six of pentacles all right I'm gonna just pull with Gregory Scott I'm just gonna pull some additional tarot messages See what we got here. What else? 
else for pile three for their Valentine's Day love messages for pile three. That's the hermit. Pile three love messages. Four of swords. Eight of Wands. Where's that nine? Hold on. That is the Nine of Wands. And the Sun. Huh, that's interesting. Okay, that's it for the Tarot. So I have a lot of oracle here. I'm gonna pull a self-care oracle first. Cause you gotta take care of yourself before you can take care of other people, right? Well, that's very um, interesting for a love reading. Open the heart. Open up the heart chakra. Be willing to express love. Express love to receive love. Okay, with the spirit and animal, wow, you got raven, shaman, you are the creator and magician. Use your gifts for good. There is power in your wisdom and words. Connect with the elemental spirits and glide through the void. Claim your place as keeper of the mysteries. Wow, deep. You guys are deep, pile three. My goodness. Okay, two more oracles. I'll get a Sedona oracle. And then we can start talking about what's going on here. Because I'm already getting a very clear picture of what's happening. Pile three. What other messages for pile three? My beautiful, lovely, wounded pile three. <laughs> Something. Oak Creek, feminine energy and intuition. Pile two got that. Hmm, that's interesting. So if you feel like it or you were torn between pile two and pile three, you may want to go look at pile two because um, they got that card as well. And the last oracle we're getting is Sacred Traveler. And the message is surrendering to the journey, release control. Well, guess what? You've already got that message on the table. <laughs> that is not new information here, right? Okay. Mm -mm. 
It's almost like these tarots. You can see how they go with the oracles here. So basically your love life or your love story in a nutshell is laid out here to bear on this table. And it has not been an easy journey for you guys. That is very evident here. You get this three of swords, which talks about heartbreak in love. And I do not feel like that was one or two heartbreaks in love. I think it might have been um, several compounded on maybe even a childhood that was, uh, was a little difficult in the love situation. Uh, like the not feeling the love from the parents and the people that were around you. I feel like you may have tried to date quite a bit and eventually you just threw up your hands and said, that's it, I'm done. And I cannot tell you, only you know how long it has been that you guys have been in this kind of hermit situation, which has not been all bad because there has been a spiritual element to it. There was a retreating from the dating to go within to find answers to maybe even go on a more spiritual journey because you do get this card of a very mystical uh, shaman here. Magician energy in this, magician energy in this. So the healing was probably a long process the wounds were probably very deep and that's why the healing was such a long process. But you guys went through it and you did it the right way. And because you did it the right way, your Valentine message for this year is that's your love life is getting ready to bust open. Your heart is being burst open here. And it's being burst open because it is time. You have done all the spiritual work that you need to do. You're on the right path with that. It's the spirit your spiritual life is continuous and it's always a journey and you're always learning new things. But you have done so much serious work with it that you are in the right place spiritually to open yourself up to love. And that does mean taking a risk and letting somebody else in, letting them know how you feel. It, when that's very, very hard for you guys, I, I do feel that you have done that in the past and you have been burned in the past. And that's why this uh, message is coming through, especially loud and clear, that this is not going to be easy for you, but Spirit is asking you to please have the courage and to open yourself up to love again. And it comes down to this. When you're in your hermit, one good thing about it is you have complete, you have complete control over the situation. You don't let anybody in your life, then you don't have to deal with anything. Notice the light here. You got the light going on here and the light going on here. Um, so you've gone within and you found your answers and you found your inner light. It is time to take it out into the world and let it shine out into the world. But it does require releasing control of the outcome because now you're going out in the world and you don't have the control that you have over everything that's happening like you do when you're in that hermit mode. but it's going to be okay. I know it's gonna be okay for several reasons. One of the major reasons is this, you get the sun card as kind of the outcome in this reading. <clears throat> and it's, it's like a breaking free from the past, but it's also the happiest card in the whole deck. It's joy and freedom and happiness and love. All of that is out there for you, all of it, but it's out there. It's not in your house. 
because you've been there and you've and you've done well in your house and you've you've gotten the taken care of yourself and you've gotten the rest that you've needed you got the rest from dating that you needed you've healed your heart you've actually gone further you've healed your heart but you've also investigated uh, the spiritual well, realms enough to know how you can help other people heal their heart. So you are good. You are solid when it comes to your spirituality. And, um, and you are definitely on the right path to fulfilling your spiritual purpose here on life. You don't ha in life, you don't have to worry about that. That is all taken care of. So the other card that makes me think that this is all going to be okay. And then you are going to have the guts to come out of this and to move forward in your, open up your heart to relationships and give, giving up control a little bit so that you can let other people into your life is this magician, the manifester, the master manifester here. It's even mentioned in this. So while you were going within and finding the answers for yourself, whether you realized it or not, you were putting your wish out into the universe for that which you desire in relationship. And guess what? It's coming into you. I'm going to uh, pull some clarify. I didn't pull any clarifiers on on the, the uh, readings before it wasn't really necessary but i do want to see when this is actually starting to move forward for you guys um i should have read these two cards earlier when i was talking about relationships and and i don't want to belabor that point about how rough your relationships have been but but it's very clear that uh there was lacking a reciprocity in your relationships, like you were doing all of the giving and they were just taking, taking, taking. That's the message with this card that this relationship that you are manifesting or you have manifested, you've already manifested it. It's just a matter of getting in alignment for it. This relationship does have the reciprocity. It does have the give and take to it. Um, and this is just a, an indication that you were doing all the work. You were planting all the seeds. You, um, for in the relationship and it was just not growing <laughs> it was not growing for you it's growing for them probably they they walked away healed from the situation but you you did not it was all 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 going out nothing coming in okay i do want to get timing and also another thing that i do not see here on the table there's one there's only one people card in this whole reading and that's Virgo. That's the only uh, zodiac sign that is indicated here. So I think that's why I, I feel like you're really kind of in the beginning stage of opening up to this new relationship that's coming in here for you. So I want to see when things start moving forward for you, when, when the heart opening happens and um, and things do start moving forward. This is exciting. This is even more exciting than it was. It's just getting better all the time. Okay, I'm feeling six weeks, because that keeps popping up, that, that six of pentacles keeps popping up. Um, Okay, this is a very interesting win for you guys. 
So the win is when you are willing to express love. Whenever you're willing to give it again. Because like I said, it was too much you giving, 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 you got give out. So this is going to be individual for when it when this is happening for you, when you can open up and start moving forward and, and run into this, because I feel like this is going to happen so suddenly. You're going to get so unstuck suddenly <laughs> from this situation. And then the, the uh, potentials are just lining up. The potentials to, for, for lovers are just lining up once this busts open, but it busts open through your willingness to give, to open your heart, to give love again. So it does talk about, th uh, th this would indicate some kind of uh, energy healing. Like uh, there's so many, I'm not even that good at it. There's so many things that you can do, do to open your heart, to heal your heart and open it up and indicate to the universe that you are ready for this. So, uh, you can just carry rose quartz. That's one of the things that, or wear ro rose quartz on you. That's one of the things that opens up your heart chakra. There are meditations that you can do to open up your heart chakra. It is really just, actually there's on YouTube, there are meditations that you can do to open up to love. You can just play them while, uh, when you go to bed at night. Um, it's really up to you. I can't tell you what to do, but I would do some research and do anything that I could or I needed to, to get in this space. Because that's the key right there. But when you, when you make that decision, okay, I'm going to open myself up to love again. I'm going to you know, do these rituals to kind of help me get into this space of opening myself up again. I'm just going to make the declaration to the universe. Okay, now I'm opening myself up to love. Like I said, it's going to be different for all of you. But whenever you do this, it is so fast. It is so fast how this thing shakes out. How this stuckness just goes away and it shakes out and you get all this all the, the competition here, all the competitions for your affection, it busts wide open. And it's shocking to you how immediate it is that it just bursts right open. But it will. That's how it ha that is how it's happening, for sure. Still releasing the control thing, right? That's part of the opening up. Release control and open up to the possibilities of love. You know what you need to do. You know what you need to do. And if you don't, like I said, research it. There's lots of information out there about it. All right, that's all I have for pile threes. Until next time, I'm sending you lots of light and love and happy Valentine's Day.